All right, so today we're going to be doing a flip and drag cup with these six colors. We have here, uh, this is black, what is this car? These are all golden brand colors in the fluid line. This is carbon black, uh, titanium white, iridescent silver. That is a gold that is not golden brand actually, but that's a metallic gold. This is micaceous oxide, also in the golden brand, and this is a mixture of a bunch of colors to get a burnt sienna sort of color that um, I can't remember what all I used uh, to make that, but it is a mixture. All right, and we're going to be painting on this 18 by 24 canvas. Did I just somehow get a line across that? I just drew on it. Go away. Clear. Yes. All right. Okay, huh. that was interesting. So we're going to be painting painting on this canvas. All right, so here we go. Uh, first I'm gonna cover the canvas with my leftover white and black and I think I'm going to do a corner in black just to see what happens um, instead of just having one color toning the ground so that is all my black needle tool all right so I'm going to spread it around I like to use these uh, cards for different junk mail I get. Um, just think that they spread well without scraping the canvas because they're flexible. So that is nice. Coating the sides while I have time. Right on. And I have a second one to spread around the white. Watch out. Okay, so I've got it coated with the white and the black. I'm going to touch up a little bit over here because I don't feel like it is that thick on the edge over here. And it's puddling a little in the middle. This canvas is new to me. You know what? I really like what is already happening there, so I'm going to go ahead and swipe that black. I'm going to swipe it right across the white. That's beautiful. I had a whole painting planned and I think I just did a painting. I think it might be done. Sometimes simple is better. Ooh, I dig that a lot. I'm gonna touch up the sides. With the pure white. I 
don't know. That just might have to be the way it wants to be. I really think I just had a Bob Ross happy accident moment. I'm going to let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and we'll come back and look at it. All right, checking in after this thing has dried overnight and I am really digging the subtle laciness that we have going on. Lost a lot of the black, but it's a minimalistic piece and I don't know, I like it. I was hoping that I would get those swipes to stay straight, but they did dip a little as they dried. Um, but I like it. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get it on camera, but the center is still quite wet. Um, when I come down like this, you see the sheen right there in the center. Um, it's dry around the corners, but there is still a wetness going on. And that's fine. I know uh, it's still drying way faster than my wooden panels have in the past, so I think maybe canvas might be a new way to go. These are really shallow framed canvases, so I would definitely want to frame these if I sell them. And maybe possibly add resin down the road. That's really pretty right there. Yeah, so we'll come back in a few days after it's had time to really cure out and we'll look at it in some better lighting. So here is the final result of that accidental uh, decision to sort of go with the simplicity of the black swipe over white paint. I really dig it. It's got some really nice lacing. It has some dips in it that originally I was upset about, like right there. I really wanted that to be more of a straight line across because the way I swiped it, it was straight, but then the paint flowed more than I wanted it to. But now, now that it's dry, I think it just gives a little bit of, of movement and interest to it, so I really like it. So there you have it.